Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in San Diego. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Tuesday, May 14th. Coming up on today's show, we'll get into the surf report and the weather outlook. Then we'll jump into some local news and a few interesting happenings in business, science, and entertainment. But first, you'll be interested to know, 51 years ago, today, in 1973, Skylab, America's first space station and the first crewed research laboratory in space, lifted off on the last Saturn V rocket. Although the Soviet Union orbited the first experimental space station called Salyut in 1971, the larger and more complex Skylab enabled research in several areas. So now you know. And now you know what time it is. It's time for the surf report. Expect fun-sized waves this week, ranging from thigh to waist high to chest to shoulder high with occasional larger sets. The consistent southwest swell will provide cleaner conditions in the mornings, thanks to light offshore wind. However, as the day progresses, expect wind to shift onshore, increasing to 10 to 15 mile per hour and creating bumpier conditions, especially in the afternoons. Tuesday at Tourmaline and South San Diego. It's looking fair at two to three feet until 10 a.m. After that, it's looking pretty rough. Could be similar conditions all week. Best time to ride is at 6 a.m. with a two foot outgoing tide when the west northwest swell is two feet at 15 seconds and the onshore wind is four mile per hour. The first low tide Tuesday will be zero feet just after 10 a.m with a four foot high tide just before 5.30. The nearshore buoy at Scripps in La Jolla reads 65 degrees for the water temperature. Checking out the weather in the San Diego area. This morning it's cloudy and feels like 60 degrees with two mile per hour wind. The sunset will take place at 7.40 and it will rise again tomorrow at 5.49. It looks like we're in for a cloudy morning, then gradually becoming mostly sunny with a high near 68 and wind of five to 10 mile per hour. Tonight, cloudy with a low of 57. Looking ahead in the weather, Wednesday will be cloudy with a high near 67 degrees. Hatchy fog is possible Wednesday night through Friday night. Thursday and Friday will be cloudy with highs in the upper 60s. Saturday will start cloudy with patchy fog, then gradually become mostly sunny with a high near 68. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them Sunny Morning sent you. In local news, San Diego City Council has approved a significant initiative to create a vast network of electric vehicle charging stations citywide. This move will support the rise in electric vehicle ownership by ensuring chargers are accessible in every city library, recreation center, and beach within two years, and in all city buildings within five years. The goal is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and facilitate the transition from a 5,000 vehicle gas powered fleet to electric alternatives. This expansion aligns with the city's broader climate goals, which include a shift towards zero emission vehicles for both light and heavy duty city vehicles by 2035. Now on to sports. Jared Goss' substantial $212 million contract extension 
With the Detroit Lions is a strong signal of the team's confidence in his leadership and ability to pursue a Super Bowl title. This deal, which secures Goff as the highest paid player in franchise history, is not just a financial commitment, but also a strategic move aligning with the Lions' ambitions to solidify their quarterback position and bolster their roster for long-term success. Under Goff's guidance, the Lions achieved significant milestones last season, including reaching the NFC Championship game, showcasing his impact and justifying this lucrative renewal. The organization's investment underscores their belief in Goff's potential to lead the team to further successes and possibly secure their long-awaited championship glory. Last night in local sports, the Padres at home lost to the Rockies 5-4. And tonight, the Padres are at home for game two of three with the Rockies. In top news, Red Lobster, a popular seafood restaurant chain, is currently undergoing a massive liquidation of dozens of its locations. This development follows abrupt closures and involves the auctioning off of entire restaurant contents, including furniture, fixtures, and equipment. At least 48 locations are being liquidated through this process across 21 states. This situation unfolds amid financial struggles for Red Lobster, with reports earlier this year about potential bankruptcy considerations due to high lease and labor costs. Thai Union Group, the controlling stakeholder, is also looking to sell its share in the chain by the end of 2024. This liquidation marks a significant scale back for a brand that operated around 650 locations as recently as February. In business news, VinFast, a Vietnamese electric vehicle manufacturer, saw its stock price surge by 52% to nearly $5 a share, marking its largest single-day gain since a previous spike shortly after becoming a publicly traded company. This increase, occurring without specific news to drive it, aligns with broader trends in the EV sector and a noticeable rise in main stock activity, which often moves independently of traditional market fundamentals. High short interest and sector momentum, including gains by other EV companies, likely contributed to this surge. Despite the recent uptick, VinFast stock remains down 46% year-to-date, reflecting ongoing challenges such as heightened competition and slowing demand in the EV market. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is now over 62,400. Ethereum is 2,900. And Solana is $146. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the San Diego area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Solana Beach, Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now... Back to the show. Let's talk tech. Tesla has made headlines again with a series of controversial decisions, including the massive layoff of its supercharging team, amidst a broader reduction that even affected summer interns. This move suggests a strategic shift, potentially focusing more on developing its robo taxi services rather than expanding its supercharging network which has been crucial for EV owners. Amidst these developments, Tesla's partnerships with Ford and GM over supercharging remain unchanged, indicating that the impact of these decisions might be more nuanced within the broader EV market landscape. And in entertainment news, Steve Carell has expressed his excitement about the upcoming series set in the office universe 
but confirmed he will not be returning as Michael Scott. At the premiere of his new movie, If, Perel shared his enthusiasm for the new show, which will revolve around a family-owned newspaper company, praising its innovative concept and the involvement of actor Dom Nall Gleason. Although he won't appear in the series, Carell is currently collaborating with John Krasinski on the film, where Krasinski serves as both writer and director. Carell highlighted Krasinski's directorial skills and expressed joy in reuniting with him professionally and personally. The new series will feature a fresh cast and is scheduled for release on Peacock, continuing the legacy of the beloved original show. Well, all righty, folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the star of the U.S. version of The Office, Steve Carell. He said, Children are very smart in their own stupid way. A child's brain is like a sponge, and you know how smart sponges are. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the surf reports. Have an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in San Diego.